So I'll dive into talking a little bit about uh, the connection between uh, our mental health and rivers and the, the benefit of water. Um, so all of us need water to survive. We are made out of water. 60% of our mass comes from water. And in some organs, it's up to 90%. Um, we can only survive a few days without proper hydration. Um, our ancestors were always hunting it and uh, hunting for it and were provided such a stress relief when they did when they did come across water and hence why all of our communities have been built um, or most of our communities have been built in close proximity to water. Um, I'm sure all of us are aware that 2020 was quite the eventful year. Um, a lot of lives have changed and things look a lot different and 2021 is obviously starting out a little bit of the same. Um, and last spring, our staff here at the Watershed Council quickly realized the importance um, that our rivers play as a place of solitude. You know, we've always, uh, the Watershed Council started as an organization and still is an organization obviously that loves rivers. Um, we know that they're very important for our economy, for our recreation. Um, but one thing we noticed um, in the spring was that people were really looking to them for peace and escape. Um, and that could have looked, that looks like getting on a raft with your family and floating down the upper Colorado, um, maybe waiting and uh, for that perfect trout to swim by you while you're fly fishing on the eagle, or maybe even just sitting along the banks um, or hiking along the banks up to an alpine lake. Um, but people were really looking to our rivers um, for peace. And we saw that in, part, in numbers of people out on the river this summer. Um, back in the 1800s and the early 1900s, um, doctors used to prescribe sea air as a way to heal. Um, people were literally prescribed go to the beach, go to the water, um, and take in what it gives you to, to heal from a variety of ailments. Um, and we're actually learning now that there's some science behind that. And that comes into the concept of blue health. And that relates how, um, is the concept of how water relates to our overall well-being. Um, and there's a, a book called Blue Mind by marine biologist Wallace J. Nichols um, that focuses on the, the proven scientific evidence that being close to, to water promotes mental health and happiness. Um, and Blue health is specifically defined as being near, in, or underwater for any amount of time. Um, it lowers stress and anxiety, it boosts our well being and happiness, and it lowers heart and breathing rate. So it really does provide uh, physiological functions um, to improve our mental health and our, our overall happiness. Um, and like I said, there's the emergence of science behind it, and it, it goes beyond the anecdotes, but um, another, another piece of science that's being implemented is stuff like programs like Blue Index, which is a was, started in Austin, Texas by a grad student um, and kind of captures the data of, and this, this was people taking pictures and responding to a survey at, at water features throughout the city um, and gauging their emotional, uh, their emotions when they were there. And most of the folks that were at um, a really natural landscape within the city felt joy and serenity. Um, only 0.5% of folks um, felt anger and fear. And I'd be really interested to, to hear what those folks were going through at that moment. Um, but anyway, data like this uh, is really useful for, for planners uh, to improve urban landscapes and developed areas and to make us as humans feel a little bit more connected to nature um, as we get a little further and further away from, from being in it all the time. Um, and as I said, we need water to survive, but turns out we also need water to live, to find that peace and to find that clarity. Um, and here in Eagle County, we're super lucky to be surrounded by uninterrupted nature and flowing rivers rather than highways and urban jungles um, and roads everywhere. But we still need to be a little intentional and carve out some time to take it in and enjoy its benefits. Um, and meditation is a tool to do just that. And that's where my expertise ends. 